Hello and good evening. Guys, I hope everything is hunky-dory at your end. It has been raining here and I'm in the best of my spirits. You can say the pinkest of my spirits. So I hope everything is good at your end too. And let's get started with this session. I'm sure you must be quite expectant. critical reasoning. So what does she mean by critical reasoning and RC combination? Kya hai ye? Hi Kritika, hi Kayak, yes Abhilasha. Good to see you guys. So we are going to check that out in a minute. What exactly do I mean by this critical reasoning and RC PYQs? What is this combination? You know why these sessions are being conducted, right? These are being conducted for mainly the newcomers and the people who are non-subscribers so usme kya hai ki agar non-subscribers being non-subscribers if you feel that you need more assistance from me in the classroom regarding VARC you can just hop on board how do you hop on board how do you come on come over to my classroom you take a subscription guys and subscription lene ke liye what better opportunity than today it ends today this is unlock 20 so you you are like straight 20 percent is knocked off on your subscriptions that's a lot of money that we are saving i mean if you look at this chart and if you take a six month subscription chalo, bare, bare minimum six months we are talking about so if you take a six month subscription it covers you till december and on that you're saving about 4400 bucks 4400 is a lot of money so, your amount is just 17,600. 17,600 is like what? One third the price of a simple scooty. And I know scooty lene ke liye to you guys just pester your parents so much. You leave no stone unturned. Papa scooty to lena hi hai, lena hai, lena hai. And this is like what? This is an investment in yourself. When we buy other things, those are depreciation. Use kar rahe hai, khatam hoga. But this is an investment in yourself. And take this piece of advice from me. Always, today, tomorrow, forever in life. Think of how you can invest in yourself. That's like the best thing that you can give yourself as a gift. And even if you if you check iconic subscriptions ka rates, us may be 20% knocked off straight away. So that's real, that's a real deal. Steel deal, I would call it. And let's take a look at these two batches. Now, you You come over to the platform. You can kind of just get hooked onto one of these batches. There are many other batches going on. Just get kind of connected with in se koi bhi. And then what happens? You are going to get the topics. All the topics related to QA, DILR, VARC and all under one batch. But for VARC, there's something I would suggest. Keep that batch as your umbrella thing, but otherwise identify your educators and your topics. You have to invest more right now in those topics that are going to give you marks. Nahi manenge Radha. Seventeen thousand zyada hai Radha keh rahi. Kya karu main Radha? Kahin se aur jugaad karke hum aur pandra bees percent discount uspe kar lenge hai na? I wish I could do that Radha. I really wish I could do that. Pooja, you can get started with VARC by just coming over to my classroom because there are uh, some four to five backlogs that you need to cover in order to build a substantial base. And then after that base, you can start working on that by attending ongoing courses and upcoming ones also. Bahat hi sensational upcoming courses hai, um, in the month of July and also in August, August, September, October, Sunday. Radha tum naam aisa Radha rakh kar ke and then you will say main ladka hoon ma'am to main kaise samjho. Hey Shivam I'm so happy to see you. I was hoping you would come and where is Payal? Abdul Wahid. Yes Abdul. Kaik uh, today's session. Kaik all these sessions are, uh, are an hour long na? 
एट टू नाइन पी एम चल सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द टॉपिक अभी बहुत ही मजा आने वाला है बिकॉज यू विल बी जैप्ट एट हाउ इजिली यू कैन सॉल्व क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग विच इज पार्ट ऑफ आर सी तो अभी आपको फर्स्ट यू नीड टू नो ये है क्या वॉट इज द टॉपिक ऑल अबाउट टूडे देखो गाइज देर इज अ टॉपिक कॉल्ड क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग राइट शिवम राधा क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग मीन्स आपका क्या होता है क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग में आई शो यू हियर कंक्लूजन यू हैव अजम्पन यू हैव स्ट्रेंग द आर्ग्यूमेंट वीक इन द आर्ग्यूमेंट इंफरेंसेस एंड एनालॉजी these questions are under the critical reasoning umbrella now cat doesn't give you separate critical reasoning paragraphs it gives you critical reasoning questions as part of reading comprehension so if you are going to get four rc passages in one slot four rc passages translates to 16 questions okay out of 16 questions you can expect two questions of critical reasoning now i won't say that critical reasoning questions are always easy that would be a that would be an extreme statement however critical reasoning questions can be done sometimes they are easy in fact most of the times they are easy sometimes they can be a little twisted so what my suggestion is look at those two critical reasoning questions if you feel you can do those if they are easy based on what i'm going to teach you now you can go ahead and do those otherwise don't waste too much time on them you can instead go over to the other questions the more doable ones like you know uh, along these five and a half months you will realize that critical reasoning is or is not your cup of tea so once you realize that it's not your cup of tea no need to chase just two questions and break your peace over it fine so that is my piece of advice on this however we need to just check some questions some pyqs and understand what they kya hai ye questions critical reasoning as part of rc pronounce it like, oh okay it's not kayak acha i was pronouncing it like k a y a k nayak ka bhai ya phir kayak is a uh, this thing it's it's a kind of boat that is kayak acha to aap ke hain oh nice and what ke are you white forest black forest butterscotch blueberry Ah, I see. So it's kayak, but then you like it when it's pronounced like cake. So this is what you tell your girlfriends: cake, who my cake? I see. How interesting is that? And I love your attitude. Black current. How cute. Current ki spelling correct kar lo. Jo tumne current likha hai, wo bijli wala hai. Shock lagega tumhe jab aisi spelling kharaab hogi to. C U R R A N T. Current. ओके एक इज अ गर्ल अच्छा ओके मैं परेशान हूं परेशान 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 राधा इज सेंग मैं बॉय हूं केक कह रही है मैं गर्ल हूं मैं कहा जाऊं मैं क्या करूं दे शुड बी सम काइंड ऑफ अ फोटो अटैच ओवर देफ अगेंस्ट एवरी नेम मुझे कैसे पता चलेगा हाँ सीरियसली uh yogesh cat takes its passages from uh guardian new york times eon ideas hindu economist time magazine smithsonian s m i t h s o n i a n justor j s t o r and besides that financial times these are some that i remember off the top of my head okay ha bilash seriously poe fails yeah okay guys chalo let me take my favorite red color and zip zap zoom with this session 
So I hope this is clear to you, whatever I just spoke. These are components of critical reasoning. I mean, types of questions of critical reasoning, conclusion, assumption, strengthen the argument, weaken the argument, inferences and analogy. I'm going to show you today conclusion, assumption and weaken the argument taken from PYQs 2017 and 18. Okay, and these are the easy ones that I have picked. And again, I'm saying it's not that all the questions of critical reasoning will be easy. No, not necessary. Sometimes they can be twisters. Cool. So as I said, first identify whether it's your forte or not. And then you decide whether you have to keep it or dump it. Shivam, what are you saying? I want to learn speaking tone from you. You don't speak in a monotone. Ah, that's so sweet. Thank you. You made my day, my week, my month, my year. Thank you, Shivam. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, come back to this. So critical reasoning. Now, what do we do in conclusion, assumption and weaken the argument? We'll take it one by one. Radha, Kayak, everybody, Yogesh. Now I want some concentration, please. In between, you can keep asking me questions. That's not a problem. But then please, please, please put down your head into this. Fine. Conclusion. Sabse pehla, let me take this up because my first question that is coming up from 2017 is a conclusion question. Now, Radha, uh, Madhav, Yogesh. Ye sun lo pehle ki con conclusion mein thayro mein bhool jati hu. Rubber kaha hai mera? Eraser. Hmm, got it. Rubber. Nahin, that was like in school days. Ma'am, rubber gir gaya mera. But then we learned ki okay, it's eraser, not rubber. Sorry. Okay. All right, guys. Hmm. Okay. Now, first thing that we are taking up is conclusion. Please remember, conclusion is based on the data given in the passage. Fine. This is point number one. Based on data. Okay. 100% it can be deduced. Okay. And the third one is not too broad not too narrow cool now let's say there is a paragraph over here which says it has been raining since morning the weather is quite pleasant okay i'll put over here raining since morning the weather is pleasant fine and i have been in a good mood okay so so, I am a female. Do you see this? Now, this is supposed to be your conclusion, which is among the options. By aap se, yaha sirf pataya gaya ki it has been raining since morning and my mood is quite pleasant since morning. I have been in a good mood and I am feeling chirpy. I am like totally in my element. So, option says, I'm a female. How did you deduce this from the things given in the paragraph? Or if you give, if give one option, so I am an exporter. All right, what do you export? How do you know from the paragraph, the given data, that you are an exporter? Got it? This is what I'm saying. So, let's say the third option says, um... Rain elevates my spirit. Okay. This third option can be my conclusion based on the data given above. Conclusion is something which can be deduced with 100% certainty. Did you get it, Shivam? And Priya? And Yogesh? And Jatav? And Ritu? Got it? Cool. So, if it is clear, I'll take you over to a question from 2017 and we are just going to see if we can work it out. All right? 
ओके ना चल सो यो वी हैव दिस वी आर डन विद द अनाउंसमेंट्स ऑफ कोर्स यस ना दिस इज अ पैसेज यस प्रिया गुड टू सी यू this passage is how long the first step that i always say is just assess it won't be on different slides in the exam it's going to be just on one slide and the font will be smaller you have to give it a birds eye view in order to assess kitna bada hai passage whether you're going to be i mean whether you're going to feel uh, comfortable with it or not oh ho bahut bada first paragraph but okay it talks something about gps and swiss city and all okay it shouldn't be dense it's going to be nice because it's kind of semi data based 10th anniversary of iphone i can see okay okay steve jobs north korea china iran so this looks like a semi data based passage now when the passage is semi data based you don't need to delve too much into the details you need to pick the main points fine and the question is there of course i'll show you the question because i have picked just one question from there the main conclusion of the passage is that the new technology has so we know that the passage is talking about some new technology conclusion means the author's opinion in the passage the author can quote many people he can quote steven spielberg he can quote St um, steve jobs he can quote bill gates he can quote melinda melissa melissa gates he can quote anybody he can quote me if he wants but the thing is where will the author's opinion be whenever the passage asks you what does the author feel about this what does the author believe in something so you have to read the last four five lines definitely okay so that is where your conclusion is and you can even connect it with the first paragraph because if you do my morning yt session that is the editorial session you know very well i teach you how to connect the first and last paragraphs and juxtapose them and then you get the main idea or the crux or essence of the passage cool so i'll just take you to the main points of the passage we are of course not going to read the entire thing now one more technique i'll give you over here if the paragraph is extremely long as this one you don't need to read the entire thing despite the fact that it's the first paragraph i always tell my students na piyush that the first paragraph is extremely important you have to read the first one you have to read the last one you can't skim but then this paragraph is very long so we will skim skim in between shashwat this is the coaching that you are looking for aap mere paathshala mein aake pooch rahe hain hey everybody are you preparing by yourselves or is there any coaching ye kya hai mere paathshala mein aake aap pooch rahe hain to fir main to hu na coaching yahan pe so join an academy uh, shashwat okay now yes ha huh. <laughs> okay i used a smartphone gps you all are going to pick the key points with me and you're going to see shivam how to deal with this passage priya if you have to do that question and even otherwise this is a semi data based passage what are the important points i'm going to demonstrate exactly how we should handle this i used a smartphone gps to find my way through the cobblestone maze of geneva's old town it starts with picture painting in search of what bhai kya kar rahe the tum machine that changed the world more than any other invention okay fine i found what i was looking for and then you have to see thero mai zara apna iska na cursor nikalu pen ka i always get confused with this kahan chala jata hai okay here there is a colon there shashwat and uh, priya and shivam dekho yahan pe ye so i found what i was looking for that's a pressure point for me i'm skimming i pause a gutenberg printing press oh this passage is going to be about the printing press but not the printing press as a whole yeah in general some aspect of the printing press fine this was the internet of its day oh so he has compared it with the internet okay that means spread information internet dictionary meaning tells me 
that okay internet is used for what to get information to spread information so if he has likened it to the internet of its day definitely he is talking something about information my brain is proactive here at least as influential as the iphone oh wow iphone bhi aa gaya hai yahan pe yahan pe um, internet bhi aa gaya hai cool now i'm going to skim a little bit before okay before the invention of the printing press acha what happened before that four monks okay single book okay before long could travel to places okay medical information mm -hmm, past more oh okay all right before long yahan pe jo hai na this this means soon so what happened before this i can understand before this it used to take like a long time to print something or to spread information or whatever and then before long this came the printing press came and then what happened yahan pe iska ye de rakha hai isne ye check here medical information passed more freely quickly diminishing this this so pura aapka effects of the advent of the printing press are given here broke the monopoly something so i'm not going to read this portion like word for word this is what i would do shashwat and cake and piyush raj and shivam and priya this is how i would take the details in okay printing press he was looking for the biggest invention the best invention uh, best or biggest something usne bola hai theek hai Uh, changed the world more than any other invention he came upon the printing press but then like okay he has said uske pehle kya hota tha and then he has compared it with the internet and iphone and then he gives us a list of things that happened after the advent of the printing press if there's a question i'll come back and please remember this again take it as a tip this portion here is a question pocket what do you mean by a question pocket a question will be set here or at least one option will be there why because there are many things mentioned over here various things so wherever you find various factors mentioned whether as causes or effects or something that becomes a question pocket so here we have a list of effects cool we will come back to it if there's a question in the exam otherwise abhi hum bas dekh kar ke aage badhenge this is how we assess and this is how we do our organized reading so a question in the summer of this 10th anniversary of the iphone now this is 10th anniversary of the iphone there's a colon here has the device which device the printing press or the iphone no this is talking about the iphone perhaps the most revolutionary of all time given us a single magnificent idea which one is he talking about yes iphone surely you can say the iphone changed everything okay 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 oh all right cool this paragraph is talking about the iphone if there's a question on this i'll come and i'll read very carefully and try to come up with the answer for now why do i need to go into this connect with the first paragraph okay he has spoken about the printing press and this side he has kind of brought in the iphone spoken in detail about it aage chalte hain theek hai next for all of that i'm still waiting to see if the iphone can do ah right so now he's bringing the iphone and the printing press and bringing them on a common platform and comparing right i'm still waiting to see if the iphone can do what the printing press did for religion and democracy oh wow this is interesting so i know from this phir pen mera gayab ho gaya ha yeah i know from this that the the printing press did something for religion and democracy do you see this french and american revolutions i just take it in my stride as i move along and then you go down not long after steve jobs introduced his iphone he said the bound book was a steve jobs ne kuch bola tha uska point hai if there is a question on that i'll come back to it this is how i proceed in a passage got it i know what is where i know the main idea i know the subsequent ideas the subsidiary points and i don't read every damn little detail i just take everything as a you know like tomato 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 karke and i move on cool so this paragraph first talked about the iphone and this printing press let's see dekhte hain kya usne kiya tha religion and democracy ke liye jo mere jo maine dhoonda jo printing press ne kiya and then french american revolutions revolutions if there is a question i'll come back then steve jobs kind of something he said okay we'll come back to it theek hai and now i think this is the last paragraph yes so just check this out super cool abdul yes the hope of the iphone 
अच्छा सो माई ब्रेन इज लाइक यू नो फास्ट एंड फ्यूरियस एंड इट्स प्रोसेसिंग क्या बोलना क्या चाह रहा है नाउ वॉट इज ई गोइंग टू कंक्लूड द होप ऑफ द आई फोन एंड द इंटरनेट इन जनरल वॉज दैट इट वुड फ्री पीपल आई लव दिस ऑथर मैन ही इज सो कूल ही जस्ट नोज हाउ टू राइट ब्रिलियंटली नाउ इज ब्रिंगिंग एवरी थिंग टूगेदर ऑन वन प्लेटफॉर्म आई फोन इंटरनेट एंड द प्रिंटिंग प्रेस इज इन दैट नाइस now i'm going to read the last paragraph word for word because that is the author's opinion yes author ko opinion to humne padha nahi hai the hope of the iphone and the internet in general was that it would free people in close societies cake close societies bole to kuye ke mendak dimag band hai unka that was the hope my brain asks me beforehand acha so author will agree with it or he'll kind of uh, content that ओके, बट आई लाइक दैट वर्ड सो बट यहां पे जैसे ही आता है आई अंडरस्टैंड अ चेंज ऑफ टोन केक राइट यस अब्दुल रिजुल बट द फेलियर ऑफ द अरब स्प्रिंग जो भी है अरब स्प्रिंग जाने दो फिलहाल एंड द कंटिन्यूड सप्रेशन ऑफ आइडियाज इन नॉर्थ कोरिया चाइना ईरान ओ ओके हैज नॉट बोर्न दैट आउट ऑल राइट सो ही सेज दिस पैराग्राफ he starts this paragraph by saying that the hope was this but then it was it has not borne that out nahi hua failure hua hai wo suppression to jagah jagah pe hua hai it did not free people it did not kind of take people out of the close societies then the last four lines the iphone is still young 10 saal to hue bola to usne passage mein it has certainly been one of the most important world changing and successful products in history as apple ceo tim cook said or would like to assert but i love these two sentences because the last four lines are extremely important in any rc passage so but i'm not sure if the world changed for the better with the iphone tim cook asserts that the iphone is one of the most important world changing and successful products in history that is a quote that is what tim cook says What does the author believe in Shivam Priya? That is, उसके नीचे. But I'm not sure if the world changed for the better with the iPhone, as it did with the printing press, or merely changed. So his tone is like you know, पता नहीं ऐसा types पता नहीं. If the world changed for the better with the iPhone, as it did with the printing press, or merely changed was change ho gaya but not the way we had wanted or anticipated it to change cool riddle so this is what we did to the passage yes last line mein uska tone author ka pata chal gaya his ideas we came to know i'm taking you over to the critical reasoning question which is on conclusion you will love it the main conclusion of the passage is that the new technology has right new technology has and we know where to go for it the last paragraph which we read just now yes piyush cake so let's check now we uh, you know what we have to do right phir se pen gaya mera iska you know wo nib jo hai it should be broader p o e we are supposed to do p o e over here that is process of elimination dhruv wait some advantages but these are outweighed by its disadvantages acha तो लास्ट में अनसर्टेन तो है सो आई एम गोइंग टू रिटेन दिस सो फार नॉट प्रूव एज सक्सेसफुल एज द प्रिंटिंग प्रेस इन ओपनिंग पीपल्स माइंड आई एम गोइंग टू कीप दिस बीन डिसअपॉइंटिंग बिकॉज इट हैज चेंज सोसाइटी टू रैपिडली उसने उसे तो डाउट है ऑथर को चेंज और मेयरली जस्ट चेंज I don't know if it has actually changed the way we wanted it. So C is a definite elimination based on his tone. Option D, being more wasteful, that means technology, your iPhone, ka more wasteful than the printing press because there is cause and effect. People spend more time daydreaming or surfing. Wrong cause effect technique I have taught you in my earlier classes. So since this shows you a cause and effect, you can go back and check. This is absolutely wrong. so this is out right shivam dhruv rijul so we are left with what a and b now this makes our work easier we can go back if you want and we can verify 
some advantages but these are outweighed by its disadvantages technology jo new technology iphone ka bola hai yeah so far not proved as successful as the printing press in opening people's minds i'll take you back and you decide upon the answer cool i love you guys you guys are super cool yes so based on whatever has been given in the last paragraph it is b we can eliminate a cake it cannot be a because yahan pe the comparison has been given the hope of the iphone was that it would free people in close societies but iphone i'm not sure kar paya hai ki nahi kar paya because suppression is, has still happened and the last line cake says I'm not sure if the world has changed for the better with the iPhone. जैसा कि हुआ था printing press के time में because it contributed to the French and ये देखो यहाँ पे French and American revolutions. The last line of this paragraph. So that is why he has given this. के इतना changes वो लाया था printing press. I'm not sure if that has happened in this. That is why your answer has to be B. Yes, Shivam, clear. Perfect. We are done with this. So this was an actual cat question. And if you read your passage correctly, with just the right amount of information that you need to put in your pocket, you will be able to do it. And if you know the pressure points, pressure points. I taught in class. When you are massaging someone, so you know here. This is good. This is a nice point. Yeah, it feels good. Press it. so this these are called pressure pressure points and you need to pause over there and read carefully tone krutika i'll take you back positive negative or neutral not changed i'm not sure kind of borderline negative i would say neutral to negative negative is like when you totally criticize somebody positive is when you praise 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 so in the passage his attitude towards printing press is positive towards new technology is negative and in the end it's borderline negative skeptical yes rejul that's a good one he is taking things with a pinch of salt cool absolutely cool now before i take you over to the second question i will show you something over here the next thing that we are tackling is assumption right krutika rizul assumption can be tricky but then the thing is you get assumption as part of reading comprehension so let me give you just the brilliant brilliant tips or techniques hmm shivam with practice with sustained reading you will not miss out on important things shivam and the way i showed you that's why i did it like painstakingly slowly just to show you guys the newcomers how to skim what to take shivam remember every paragraph has an important first line which is the crux of that para and so you have to read that line and look at the words do vertical reading shivam like this vertical reading important words french revolution american revolution gutenberg printing press ha uh, okay i know this is there question jab aayega wo wala portion mein aake i can understand more clearly so abhi kya hoga shivam if you spend that much time reading the passage bit by bit i don't have a problem you do it that way if you are a fabulous reader and you can retain but then hoga kya you will read this you will go over to the questions aur pata hai shivam kya hoga questions pe ja ke you will forget everything so then you will come back and again read so twice or thrice you are going to read replication of time that's going to waste all your time and before you know the bell will ring okay cake google assistant oh my god ha uh ha -huh. seriously मुझे गूगल असिस्टेंट का वॉइस बना दिया आपने ओके चलेगा सीरी सुरभी कौन कौन से होते हैं ना आजकल सारे सीरी तो खैर मेरे फोन में ओके नाउ गाइस चलो लेट्स डू दिस अजम्पन ना प्लीज 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 आई रियली वांट यू गाइस टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट अजम्पन आर एकदम नक्शल में बताऊंगी छोटा फाइन 
ये देखो यहाँ पे पहला पॉइंट ये होता है अजम्पन इज वॉट अभी मैंने आपको पैराग्राफ में दिखाया देर आर प्रेमिस डेटा राइट एलेक्सा एलेक्सा आशा इन यूट्यूब सेशन आई जनरली टेक अप पी वाई क्यू इन माई प्लस क्लासेस आई टेक अप एक्स्ट्रा मटीरियल फ्रॉम हेयर एंड देर एंड समटाइम्स आई कम अप विथ माई ओन मटीरियल ऑल्सो सम कॉन्टेंट बट द थिंग इज फॉर यूट्यूब सेशन द बेस्ट इज पी वाई क्यू ओके ना अजम्पन यू हैव प्रेमिस यू हैव डेटा यू नो वॉट दिस इज ठीक है ठीक एंड कंक्लूजन अभी हमने देखा फाइन ना अजम्पन क्या होता है इट्स अ ब्रिज बिटवीन कंक्लूजन एंड डेटा दैट मीन्स द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज इट हैज टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक connect it with the conclusion what do i mean by very specific shivam priya uh, cake your option if there are four options the option which has more specific words connected with the conclusion will be your answer okay point number 2 conclusion jab aapne diya you came up with a conclusion so you know definitely you thought something okay what did you think before giving the conclusion so what i do is when i read the conclusion the claim the argument i think to myself oh so you mean to say that if you are saying that this is this if you are saying cake is a girl this is your conclusion oh so you mean to say that what so you have to apply this technique oh so you mean to say that dot 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 ellipsis okay so when you read your conclusion or claim or argument or assertion you have to ask yourself this and go to the options third point you can always negate it and find out what is negation technique crisply i'll tell you you take uh, you first eliminate two options you will be left let's say with a and b now between a and b you can take one option and negate it negate means if it says shivam is happy you make it shivam is not happy or if the option says shivam is not happy you negate it by saying shivam is happy okay after doing that negation if your conclusion crumbles then that is your correct answer ठीक है सो अजम्पन वो होता है जिसपे कंक्लूजन टिका हुआ है ऐसे यू थॉट दिस सो यू गेव दैट कंक्लूजन नाउ इफ यू निगेट दिस कंक्लूजन तो गिर जाएगा सो दैट मींस डेफिनेटली दिस दिस वन जो ऑप्शन आप पकड़ रहे हैं दैट इज योर करेक्ट आंसर वील चेक अभी एक क्वेश्चन इज कमिंग अप गॉर इट सो दिस इज अजम्पन थोड़ा बहुत आपको अभी समझ में आया होगा बिकॉज दिस इज थियरी let's apply this and see if we can come up with the right answer okay let's go over to this hmm hmm now this is a passage from cat 2017 focus now guys rizu labi isme karenge na passage mein aa jao theek hai and you'll get it you'll get a hang of it don't worry and assumption when it comes as part of rc is easier than the normal assumptions cat 2017 again it's on creativity i'll just assess the passage kitna bada acha oh cool five paragraphs and like you know paragraphs are pretty cool shivam once again for your sake i'm just going to help you guys see how i would handle such a passage kya hai ye no this is not ha huh, this this also has one paragraph has a lot of data the other paragraphs are like pretty cool so only one paragraph can be skimmed skipped hata kar ke pura the other paragraphs may have some important points I'll show you what those points are. How to handle this passage? पहले ये सीखो मेरे साथ. Half the game will be won. Creativity is at once our most precious resource and our most inexhaustible one. Creativity मेरे पास है. थोड़ी बात है. I wish I had more. नहीं है. Okay. As anyone who has ever spent any time with children, every human being, अच्छा, every human being is born creative, innately endowed, ability. Okay, 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 okay. I come to this point over here. कहाँ गया पेन फिर से? 
this what fosters creativity this question oh so now i know what the main idea of the passage is this first portion the first four lines shivam priya rejal i would skim a little bit like you know okay ah ah mudda kya hai are you going to talk about creativity as a whole or which aspect of creativity so here he has come up with this what fosters creativity kya cheez badhava deti hai creativity ko theek hai more than anything else and i come upon my favorite colon look at this the presence of other creative and creative people environment environment immediately my brain says ah har passage mein har cheez mein the environment plays an important role okay the presence of other creative people the big myth okay there is a myth over here there can be a question centered around this point the big myth is that creativity is the province of great geniuses or oh, in fact this is a 100% question pocket indeed in fact the fact of the matter is actually okay these are question pockets in fact creativity is a social process people environment ambiance society our biggest creative breakthroughs come when people learn from compete with and collaborate with other people finished this is my main idea over here yeah this is how you locate your main idea fine now i know the whole passage is going to dwell upon this ki kaise creativity foster karte hain how society plays a role in that kya hoga dekhenge the next paragraph cities are the true fonts of creativity oh okay this paragraph is talking about cities okay diverse populations okay 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 now see how i'm skimming this spark oh there is a positive tone over here kahan gaya ye spark and catalyze new ideas okay okay allow those ideas to be actualized oh, okay so he's talking about cities in this paragraph and he has a positive tone attitude towards cities uh ah okay now the second part is extremely interesting as for what staunches creativity that's easy if ironic dekho yahan pe it's the very institutions that we build to manage exploit and perpetuate the fruits of creativity of a big bureaucracies and sad to say schools creativity is disruptive so schools and organizations are regimented standardized and stultifying okay cool i go back and connect quickly this is how i handle my passage acha isne to aise start kiya creativity se and what fosters ye wo acha cities are the true fonts cities ke bare mein kuch positive bola then he says but the institutions he doesn't like the institutions okay negative tone towards institutions positive tone towards cities aa gaya itna kafi hai move on the education expert sir ken robinson acha bhai isme koi robinson aa gaya study reporting i'm not interested in the actual data what did that study highlight i need to know this so i go straight to this last line samajh rahe ho by the time we are adults our creativity has been wrung out of us nichod diya jata hai bahar pura that is called ring w r i n g so it has been wrung out of us so now without reading the paragraph priya i know that this paragraph is talking about how as we grow up our creativity leaves us children are born with creativity as the first paragraph said okay and then in as we grow up actually it leaves us got it i did not read that paragraph in detail so how cool is this creativity cities cities kill a positive tone institutions kill a negative tone and then he comes to this uh, study this experiment and the conclusion of the study is as we grow older we are less creative and the last paragraph this is so easy right shivam i once asked the great urbanist i am going to read this last paragraph definitely because it's a short para and last paragraph is very important because that sums up the passage in the author's way i once asked the great urbanist jane jacobs what makes some places more creative than others she said essentially the question was an easy one all cities were filled with creative people that's our default acha nahi iske baad ek aur ha right 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 
आई रिमेम्बर दिस इज नॉट द लास्ट पैरा सो ओके जेन जेकब्स का यहाँ पे आ गया ऑल सिटीज क्रिएटिव पीपल दैट्स अवर डी ओके नाउ हियर दर इज अ वर्ड बट Some cities had more than their shares of leaders, people, and this. She called them squelches. Oh, yeah, blocked out that creativity. So the discussion continues about cities, and this is about what Jane Jacob says. Now there is one thing over here. Please check. You have got something in inverted squelches. Inverted में जो रहता है tentatively that's a question pocket. Fine, cities. All right, fine. Then this, I think this, yeah, this portion is the last one. Creativity or the lack of it follows the same general contours of the great socio-economic divide. Our right, oh, bhai, her cheese in the world is connected to that socio-economic divide, the chasm between the rich and the poor, rising inequality, communism, socialism, blah 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 blah. Yes, abaja. External reading helps. I'm not applying that, but it helps me understand and quickly I can put two and two together. Okay, so yeah, they go. Follows the same general contours of the great socio-economic divide, rising inequality that plagues us. Okay, United States का topic आ गया. As much as about creative cities, okay, so okay. United States creative cities, पूरा examples. Forget it. If there's a question on United States and creative cities of that that place, I'll come back. What does the conclusion of that paragraph say? Okay, if they have jobs at all, okay. This is talking about United States and people with jobs and whatever, what. I'll come back to this. ठीक है, this is how you proceed fast. And the last bit, creativity it's, itself is not in danger. It is flourishing. It's flourishing uh, is all around us. Okay, in science and technology, arts and culture, in our rapidly revitalizing cities. But now again, यहाँ पे देखो आप, uh, but we still have a long way to go. If we want to build a truly creative society that supports and rewards the creativity of each and every one of us, see the stone in the end. Nature travels. Shivam, cake. This is so interesting. Even this author is not sure about it. He says that creativity is not in danger, but we still have a long way to go. We are not yet there. Miles to go before we sleep, right? It's uh, there's still a long way to go before we can build a truly creative society, which will help us grow. Got it? We are done with this. Okay. Now let's take a look at the question. This is a brilliant question. The author's conclusions about the most creative cities in the U.S. are based on his assumption that now this is a specific question. We have to pick the para which talks about U.S. And the most creative cities in the U.S. Okay, first step here. Everybody, listen to this. First step. This is a critical reasoning question, an assumption question. So I first need to know the claim, the conclusion in that paragraph. This is not a general conclusion, Shiva. This is a conclusion regarding the most creative cities in the U.S. Okay. So I'll take you back to that now. Yeah, this is the paragraph. First, come up with the claim of the author. Creativity follows the. Now you can read carefully. That time we skimmed. Inequality plagues us. Where is the creative? Most creative cities. Okay, I can see the most creative cities somewhere here. When you see this over here, you set your range. You can just go down and read. Are able to do work which engages our creative faculties to some extent. Whether as artists, musicians, writers, techies, innovators, entrepreneurs, doctors, lawyers, journalists, or what? Those of us who work with our minds. Oh, so this is what the most creative cities do. I go, you know, if I find creative cities, if I find creative cities over here, I set my range from here, two lines up and two lines down. So, according to my own estimates, a third of us across the U.S. and perhaps as much as a half of us, most creative cities are able to do work. Okay, those of us who work with our minds. That leaves a group that I term the other 66 percent, two thirds, who toil in low-wage, rote, and rotten jobs, if they have jobs at all, in which their creativity is ignored or wasted. 
This is what he claims about the most creative cities. So first get the claim clear. He is saying that these most creative cities are hiring, engaging only one third of the population, okay, perhaps one third ac across the United States. These people who are working with their mind, artists, musicians, writers, techies, whatever, whatever, and engaging their creative faculties. The other 66% their creativity is ignored or wasted. Now, I take you back to the question. Check this question now. Super interesting. The author's conclusion about the most creative cities are based on his assumption that you just have to apply that technique. Oh, you said this, this, this. So, you mean to say that what? Go with the process of elimination. You will be able to get it. Just check. Only artists, musicians, writers and so on should be valued in society. This I can see is a clear elimination. This art. Dhruv. Most cities ignore or waste the creativity of low wage workers. How do you know most cities? Most is only and most. They are extreme words and the paragraph is not giving you any such inclination. Okay. Now I am left with two options. A and B. I'll tell you one thing. I'll show you one thing. I know you guys are getting B. That's fine. Prithik, B to Sita eliminated because only and most those two words are not given there. We cannot even infer that. B says more than half the population works in non-creative jobs. Yes. But guys, this is given there. It cannot be an assumption. It is an inference. 66% and 33% to Snibola hai. So, dusre language mein isko nikalenge, more than 50% or more than half the population works in non-creative jobs. Right? That is an assumption. It cannot be an, uh, sorry, that is an inference. Cannot be an assumption because it's already given there. Assumption is not given there. So, option B is also eliminated. You are left with option A, which is your answer. I'll show you how. Don't worry about it at all. It's a super duper easy question. People who work with their hands are not doing creative work. Go back to this. Okay. That leaves a group. Achha, only the people who are do, who are kind of engaged, one third, jitne bhi log hai, they are all creative people. Their creative faculties are engaged and they are working with their minds. Okay. That leaves a group 66% who are doing non-productive, sorry, non-creative work. Oh, so you mean to say that people who work with their minds are creative and people who don't work with their minds are non-creative. So you gave this conclusion. That is why you came up with this, right? That is why A is your answer. Let's negate it and see. Okay, people who work with their hands are doing creative work. Not diya hai na priya isme. Avi, not de rakha hai. Not ko hata denge hum. A mein. People who work with their hands are doing creative work. So, if people who, are, who work with their hands, the menial laborers are doing creative work, how did you come up with this conclusion? Your conclusion crumbles. That is why A is your answer. Okay, C and D, yes, Shivam, definitely. Only artists, musicians, writers and so on should be valued in a society. Only. Fourth, may most. These are traps. Always go back and check these words. Nahi de rakha. Koi, wohi nahi hai, wahan pe koi in, inkling nahi hai. Koi wahan pe, uski taraf inclination pe nahi de raha hai ki only hoga, most hoga type ka. So, ye, jaha bhi aapko ye words dikhe na, these can be traps. Check them. Okay. So, A is your answer. That is assumption. Cool. Okay. Super cool. We will stop here. The third passage we can do in some other session. Day after tomorrow or something. We have run out of time. No problem. So, these are the courses for July, guys. Upcoming courses. I hope the two questions that we did today are clear to you. In case you want to do more of critical reasoning, you have to come over to the class because in September, I'm coming up with a course which is called Critical Reasoning 100. 
In that, we are going to do 100 questions compiled from PYQs and other different sources. Courses for July, short summary 100. It starts tomorrow at 11, 11 a.m. Super 150 for grammar, which is absolutely brilliant for your Ometska grammar. Time-bound tests, phenomenal in helping you improve your time management. And YT editorials compiled is going to be the most ador adorable course of the century. All my morning YT, just me crack stone flow at the I am going to compile those and give them to you as a course. Okay, so you have to learn that with me now. The, the fluency or the easy way in which I solve RCs. Uh, Shivam, every single day, 20 minutes, religiously, meri shakal yaad karo and sit for reading. Read any good editorial, any good passage, Shivam, but for 20 minutes, just devote your time to it. And keep thinking of me all the time, ma'am ne bola hai, and I respect her, and I'm going to do it for her sake. Okay? Baki RC techniques, wagar aap seek lo, 15-20 din mein, Shivam, you will be able to come up in RC, and then you can start solving passages. But for 15 days, I suggest, Shivam, you watch my morning YT, you watch my evening YT, and you do your daily reading. I promise you within 15 to 20 days, you will see some kind of an improvement in your overall comprehension. Yeah, get started with Eon Ideas. Cool, guys. I'll take leave of you now. I'll have a cup of green tea and then I'll gear up for the next session, which is at 9.30. Shivam, that's a free class. So all of you, if you are non-plus students, you can attend that today at 9.30. We are going to do some phrases, idioms and phrases, which will help you with your comprehension. So just join me at 9.30 and we'll have a good time. Okay, bye-bye guys. See you. Piyush, with reading, you can improve your comprehension. Okay? Don't think that it's undoable. It is definitely doable, but the only thing is you have to really burn the midnight oil. Eon essay se avi ek aad bar kabhi aya hai. Eon essay se. And Eon essay aap padhne baithenge, to phir at your own risk. Dubne lago to mujhe mat pukar. Phir shabana mein bacha lije. Wohi same cheez jab aapko Eon ideas mein mil raha hai. So why would I go to uh, savanna, greenlands and like tropical forests and endanger myself over there if I can get the same thing in a chota sa field ya chota sa grassland. Okay. They are protracted, about 4,000 words long, which is like pretty bakwas. And even the language is much more dense than aapka ye, Eon ideas. Haan, Piyush. Chalo guys, bye-bye.